I've been convinced by a lot of the arguments made by uh, a YouTuber named SequesterZone and by a uh, British philosopher Alain de Baton when it comes to religion and not being anti-theistic. I did a, a few, a, like two videos about Baton's book, Religion for Atheists. It's about how, basically how I, religion can be secularized or there's parts of religion that can be used for secular purposes. And basically, I used to be an anti-theist. An anti-theist is someone who is against all religion of any kind. And I still have anti-theist impulses whenever I um, see or hear or read about an example of religious extremism. My initial impulse is to think, oh, religion is so evil. I hope, I wish all religion would go away. Screw it all. But... The thing is, is that religion isn't 100% bad, and in fact, what I'm about to say, which will sound like a pipe dream, but given how much things have changed from like 40 years ago, it doesn't seem that far-fetched. And that is, is, I believe that eventually we'll start seeing denominations and versions of modern-day religions which are completely secular. Uh, that is, is that religion can become so liberal that it no longer has any supernatural elements to it. Now, you could argue that that's, that no longer counts as a religion, but I think that's in a gray zone. So, what would a completely secular version of Christianity be? A fully secularized version of it would, uh, it would be atheistic, at least in implication. It would not see the Bible as divinely inspired or magical or anything like that. And it would openly, explicitly embrace that the salad bar mentality by saying that the Bible is not literal, it is metaphoric in nature, meant for moral teachings, and on that note, also an acceptance that there is very evil stuff promoted in the Bible, and that we just accept that as ignorance, as a um, example of the just the horrible horrible, horrible mindset back then, and that we, those parts of the Bible are rejected, but the good parts of the Bible are accepted. For instance, in the New Testament, Jesus talks a lot about how you should help the poor, but he also claims that if you divorce and then marry someone, you're guilty of adultery, which seems insane by modern standards. Also, the New Testament has homophobic verses in it. It's not just the Old Testament. Romans... 26 to 28 is very, very homophobic. So that would just be rejected in this new super secular, super liberal version of Christianity, which is no longer has any supernatural elements, openly rejects the backward stuff in the Bible, but holds on to the good stuff in the Bible about loving your fellow man and being a good person while still having. Uh, Sunday church meetings to talk about loving your fellow man and to, uh, accepting that you've done bad stuff throughout the week and you need to say you're sorry and try to be a better person next week and stuff like that. This is why I also am a big supporter of Sunday Assembly. If you don't know what Sunday Assembly is, it's often derisively referred to as atheist church and then anti-theists mock Sunday Assembly like, oh, you're trying to turn atheism into religion. Well, no, it's not trying to turn atheism into a religion, but trying to turn religion secular. It is a secularized version of religion. And I really don't see anything wrong with a secularized version of religion. Because what's great about a secularized version of religion is that it changes with the times. Just, it changes with the moral landscape. In other words, uh, in non-secular religion today, since the Bible is supposed to be all right and it's very homophobic, then we have to be homophobic forever, even if almost everyone is not homophobic. Well, with the secular religion, it's willing to change to the point to where it would say, okay, well, homophobia is bad now, so let's not do that. So it would have the good elements of religion, for instance, holidays, um, which can be very useful in terms of ritual. It can have these community not the good stuff of religion. 
and also the bot uh, Lane Debont, sorry, Baton, which uh, I go more into this in the video review of his books, talks about how it'd be great if we had secular versions of what religion does. For instance, if we if we had uh, it's like our own holy sites, secular holy sites, whereas religion has like Mecca. What if we had like a great library or what if we made museums so awesome that they're kind of like a holy site to rel to science, but with that, of course, any of the religious or I should say supernatural implication of holy. So in other words, I'm not an anti-theist. I'm only against the supernatural elements of religion and whenever people's unwillingness to change their beliefs because they take their religion too literally leads them to hold on to abhorrent and very bad views such as homophobia and sexism. Many people use religion to prop up sex sexism, which is very bad. Relig so religion of the, the religion of the future will have many, many denominations. It'll be kind of like the old religions, but it'll have no supernatural stuff It'll be totally devoted to helping humanity out, and it'll be totally willing to change with the times. And it'll have a very huge humanist element while still remaining some of its original religious ideas. So yes, that's religion of the future. It's secular and liberal.